Hey, I just want to make a quick video here with some details about tomorrow's hearings in Olympia, Washington regarding the Standard Capacity Magazine ban. I just wanted to see if there's anyone here that might be interested in hooking up tomorrow right before the, well, not hooking up, meeting up. Meeting up would be a better word. Uh, hooking up kind of implies uh, sex, maybe. And I don't want to make any assumptions, you know, not rule anything out, but I don't want to make any assumptions either, uh, especially not without consent first. I want to get consent first. Uh, but... Uh, using the proper term here, meet up. If you go to the Capitol building, if you know where the Capitol building at, where the hearing's going to be held is, if you go out the south entrance of the Capitol building, as you're facing south on the steps of the Capitol, it's the building to your right. I do believe it's called the O'Brien building. Now, the hearing is going to be in there at 8 a.m. Uh, you have to be there early if you want to get into the hearing room or else you'll end up in one of the overflow rooms. And, and believe me, the Bloombergies, they get there early and they stock the line to try to fill the room so that you can't be in there. So uh, I'd like to meet no later than like 630 at the little sundial. If you go, like I say, if you exit south out of the Capitol building and walk down between the two buildings that you're facing, there's a little rotunda there with a sundial. Uh, that's where I'd like to meet at like no later than 630. So about 6.30, I'm going to be heading from there over to the uh, line, and there'll probably already be a line formed. It'll be just right off to the uh, west of the sundial. There'll be an entrance at the end of the building that you can go in. Uh, so I'll be there tomorrow until 6.30. So if you would like to come up and if you're going to go into the hearing and you want to meet up beforehand, be there at 6.30 a.m., no later than, and we'll head into the hearing together and uh, kind of try to put a stop to some of this tomfoolery that's going on up there right now. Oh, and one last thing before I go here, since I've got you, uh, and I don't think anyone will be paying real close attention to this. I want to remind everyone that we have a charity event that's about to start up over on the TYMP website. That's TYMPPistolProject.com. If you go over there, you can donate to a fundraiser for Fur Friends Animal Rescue. Everyone who donates $10 to $24 is going to be registered, uh, is going to be recorded that you donated. Uh, and then at the end of the event, I am going to uh, just give away some stuff to some random people, things like Red Dot Sight, you know, Romeo One, uh, one of the, you know, the Silver Bullets and uh, steak set, I shouldn't do this, steak set from uh, Coonan that you can't get anymore. And several things be given away. Uh, I, I, one of those hammer kits for the 1911s where you carry the hammer down and you remove the safety it pops back uh, like I have on my high power and also we're going to be for people who give 25 or more uh, there's going to be two uh, oh, and a Pico. A Beretta Pico is one of the things that we're giving away at the $10 level. And uh, uh, if people who give $25 or more, uh, at the end, we're going to select two people and give them one of the uh, Remington 840, the little 870 little shorty shotguns. Uh, so keep your eyes open for that. If you want to go over to TYMPPistolProject.com, I'll put a link in the corner here. You can go over and go ahead and donate and get on the list early. But that's going to be starting up this week.